Hey guys, before this video starts, I just wanted to say that this video is only a joke and a political satire and is not meant to be taken seriously in any way. As those of you who have seen my past satires know, I make fun of politicians from both sides of the aisle, including Republicans like Donald Trump and Democrats like Joe Biden. Comedy is comedy. It is not partisan, but is instead all in good fun. The other and more serious point I wanted to address, though, is... Some of the language in this video is a lot more controversial and cruel than what is normal for my channel. I did this because even though a lot of what I am saying does personally make me feel uncomfortable, I wanted my satire to be realistic and, though exaggerated, still be a lot of what you would hear when turning on Fox News. However, if the hurtful language is enough to make you want to turn this video off, then I completely understand and respect that. So thank you all so much for watching, and I really hope that you all enjoy the video. Oh yeah, that's the stuff! Hi, welcome back to Tucker Carlson Tonight, where we take on all the crises destroying our country, like gay marriage and marijuana use. So, as all patriots know, the more time Joe Biden's dead corpse is in charge, the less freedom real Americans have. And by real Americans, I of course mean me and fellow straight rights activist, the QAnon Shaman. And speaking of QAnon, I'm happy to welcome our first guest to the show, Florida Man. I mean... Florida Congressman, Matt Gates. Welcome to the show, Matt. Hey, Tucker. Pleasure to come on. Sorry I'm a little late, though. I was at Marjorie Taylor Greene's gym showing her what a religious guy I am. I even have pictures if you want to see. Yes, I understand. I was actually down there last Sunday. I have to say, in a world consumed by cancel culture, it is so great to have real patriots like Marjorie Taylor Greene fighting back against the deep state. You know, I agree. Usually, I don't think women should be allowed to work, but with radical leftists like Liz Cheney and Mitch McConnell running around, we need real solutions to stop them from having school curriculums teach our kids about implicit bias instead of real threats like Jewish space lasers. And even though Marjorie's a little old for my taste by about three decades or so, she is that solution. Matt, I couldn't agree more. And thank you for coming on. You bet. In fact, I gotta get running too. Marjorie just texted me about ways to justify the death penalty for those who smoke pot. Obviously, this is a cause I believe in because I'm somebody who's clearly not high 24-7. About time Congress started doing the people's work. So, with the COVID hoax still being overplayed by the liberal media and big tech, we invited Kentucky Senator Rand Paul on to sow doubts about the vaccine. Ran, thank you so much for joining us. And remember, every minute you speak is another 100,000 cases. Shh! Damn, Tucker, can you not be so loud? I borrowed my neighbor's lawnmower without asking, and now he's looking for me again. You know, that just makes no sense at all. I simply cannot understand why anyone would want to punch you in the face. I can. But anyways, it's still a joy to be with you tonight. First time I ever heard that. So, America hating Biden and his communist VP are saying the most horrific things imaginable. They're saying that even though the Trump scene was made available to all Americans on April 19th, we're still going to be wearing masks until July 4th. What do you make of this? Look, Tucker, the truth is this fake pandemic could have been over a year ago if the people just drank bleach like Supreme Leader Trump said. It's no secret that the federal government is trying to oppress people like me, who refuse to wear masks and don't sacrifice my rights to woke supremacy. I mean, we even heard it in Sleepy Joe's fake inaugural address when he condemned hatred. I mean, that's like silencing half your viewers right there. You're right, and we can never let this stand. Rand, thank you so much for speaking out about the silencing of conservative voices. Of course. And by the way, Tucker, I made you my emergency contact because my parents didn't want that. So if the hospital calls you tonight after my neighbor finds me... What? I can't hear you! La 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 la! 
he badly misread our dynamic. Anyways, we're gonna go on a quick break, but we will be right back after this gag reel of the past 100 days. <laughs> Never gets old. Anyways, for our final guest of the night, we will be welcoming former Trump campaign official and new Fox News contributor Vladimir Putin onto the show. Hello, Tucker. The dog. You seem excited to be joining us. Well, I am. Because 100 days in the Hyden Biden's administration and the truth has finally come out. Really? And what is this truth? That the fake news thought they could distract us from all the voter fraud proof by hiring a mob of Antifa supporters to dress up as Trump followers and storm the Capitol, yet they did not succeed. Thank you, Vladimir. I was just thinking that because nothing says Black Lives Matter like a Confederate flag in the Capitol. Exactly! All the communist left wants to do is silence the 75 million patriots who rejected Biden yet ignoring the fact that if you take everybody who Trump assaulted on Twitter, all minorities, everybody who was personally affected by COVID, and everyone who doesn't support QAnon out of the equation, Trump easily wins and by a lot. President Putin, thank you so much for speaking truth to power, and we can never let the Democrats suppress our vote again. So... That is the end of our real and unbiased news segment for now. I'm Tucker Carlson, and I'll see you right back here tomorrow night. That is, if the Democrats don't burn your house down before then. Good night! Hey guys, thank you all so much for watching this week's new sketch. To see the behind the scenes and bloopers, then click the link in the description below. And to see the previous video, then watch Reacting to My Old Video 7. And to see the previous sketch, then watch the iPad and the behind the scenes for that doggy treats behind the scenes. And to see the previous political satire we made, then watch Joe Biden vs. Kim Jong-un arm wrestling match. All of the links for these videos will be in the description below. So thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so very much and I will see you all next Friday for a brand new sketch. Bye! Alright, now that the show is done for tonight... It's time to go back home to that eight-year-old's closet. <laughs> His stupid dad keeps telling him monsters aren't real. <sighs> Idiot.